The Framer CMS is the most important piece to build out scalable websites, whether it's blogs, portfolio pages, or e-commerce pages. So in this beginner tutorial, I will cover all the steps you need in order to set up a Framer CMS from scratch. Now, step one is to design the content we want to add our editing powers to. For this tutorial, we will recreate the CMS I've set up for timgame.com. And to make this extra meta, the working file is hosted on the same website and is linked down below. On my site, I have a card that has a title, a resource type, a software icon, an image, and a video. And when we click the card, I want it to take us to a detail page, also known as a CMS page, that has a top trim color, a title, a YouTube video, and a link to the resource. Now, before we create the actual CMS, I wanna make sure that our card has the hover state with the video preview. So I will head into the working file and create a component out of my card. I'll call it card, hit create. If you're new to components inside of Framer, you can pause and check out the video in the top right. With the layers panel open, I will select the video and make sure that it's set to 0% in opacity. I then zoom out a bit, go to hover state, hit plus hover. I select the video again, make sure that it's set to 100% in opacity. And on top of this, I make sure that the play button is set to 0% in opacity. Now to test if this works, we need to add a placeholder image and a placeholder video. So I'll target the video, I'll choose a file source, I'll set it to playing yes, then I'll go to the image, choose image or unsplash if we're lazy. And now if I hit command P as I hover, we can see that the video is playing. Now, the thing is, not all my cards will have video previews. So how do we make sure that this hover state only occurs when we have a video preview? Well, we'll get to that by the end of the tutorial. The next step is to create the actual CMS. And there are three ways you can add your CMS. The first is to go to pages in your left sidebar, hit plus on CMS, and then add sample. This will bring you to the CMS page and you'll get five sample CMS items added to the CMS collection that was just created. The second way is to hit CMS in the top bar and then either import a CSV or add a blog. The latter will create the same sample of five as we saw in alternative one. And then we have option three, which is to once again hit CMS in the top bar but then head to this plus here. When we click this plus, this just creates a clean CMS collection without CMS items. I'm going to use this option for now, but it really doesn't matter what you choose. I'll call this collection resources. If you wanna add more collections, you can go to plus add here, but more than one collection will require a pro plan. For each collection, we have three main options. The first is new item, the second is edit fields, and the third is import. Import is for importing CSV files. Edit fields is for adding and removing fields to our CMS items. Remember the title, the content type, the images and videos inside of our card? This is where we add the ability to edit those in the CMS view. So let's add them. We already have a title, and here we can change the title of the title. We can add a default text, a placeholder value, and decide whether it's a bigger text area or just a one-liner. The slug is what's going to show in the URL. In many cases, it's best to just leave this to be based on the title of your page. Then we have a content field, which is great if you have a blog, for example. In our case, we don't need it, so I'll just right-click and hit remove. Now let's add all the things that will be either a part of our card or our detail page. A title we already have, but the option for this would be plain text. 
Now, since the YouTube video is going to be inserted as a URL, I'll use plain text for this and just call it YouTube URL. Formatted text would give us the content field we just removed. Link allows us to link to things, which is perfect for a resource link. So I'll add that and call it resource link. I'll then hit plus again and add an image. After that, I'll add a color for the top trim. Let's just call it color. Now the toggle can be used to toggle things on and off in our CMS items. For example, if we have items that are featured and we want to show a featured badge for those, we could add a toggle to show or hide that badge. Options allow us to add multiple options to our items. This is perfect for our resource type and software icon. So I'll add one and I'll call it resource type. I'll change the options to be working file and website. And I'll let the default remain to be working file since that's currently the most common option on my page. And of course, if we wanted more options, we could just hit add here. Now we'll add the second option for our icons. I'll call it software type and I'll add framer and Figma as the options. On top of this, we have numbers, we have dates, and finally we have file, which we can use to add video files that we can upload from our computer. I'll add that and I'll call it video. Then I'll manually enter the accepted extensions here, which in my case is gonna be only .mp4. And for all Mac users here, keep in mind that .mov doesn't work and is generally not recommended on the web anyways. And that's it. Now we have all the CMS fields created and it's time to add our actual items. Let's add two CMS items really quick. I'll hit new item and then I'll just fill in the fields that we just added. Now with this setup, we can start linking the CMS to our designs. Let's start by heading back to our main canvas, then go to the left sidebar by CMS, hit plus, resources, and then detail page. And as you may have guessed by the name here, this is our detail page for the CMS. And it works like any other page in Framer, just that it's connected to a specific CMS collection. In our case, resources. Now we can choose to use the template that Framer has given us here, or we can just remove everything and do it from scratch. I'm gonna go back to pages, home. I'll go to this detail page that I've already created here. I'll copy it, go back into this detail page, paste it in. Then I'll remove the previous one. I'll make sure that everything is set up correctly in here. So I'll probably remove this detail page stack here. We don't need that. I'll just take this top bar, set it to zero in the top. I'll go to the nav and set that to maybe 24. Then for this one, we can just reduce the top padding a bit. And now if we play the prototype, it looks something like this. Now from here, we can just select our items. So I'll select the top rim. Then we'll go to the right sidebar. I'm gonna click plus fill and I'll set the variable to be color. For the title, I'll do the same. I'll go in here to plus content on the text field instead. Set variable to title. And for the YouTube video, I'm gonna select it. Go to plus video set variable and YouTube URL. And lastly, for the link, we're gonna target the button, go to the right sidebar to link, hit plus, then plus a link to set variable resource link. And as you can see here, all of these things are automatically located by Framer. So what we created in our CMS collection can be found here in the right sidebar. I'm gonna set it to be new tab no, and we don't need to do anything about scroll. Now our detail page is fully connected to the CMS, but we still need to link the card. So let's head back to our home page. And here is our home page design. But before we do anything else here, we need to add something called a collection list. 
This will allow us to display our CMS items anywhere we place the list. So I'll go to insert, scroll down to collection lists. I'll drag this resources into our homepage, place it here in between the title and the footer. Still didn't place it correctly, so I'll bump it down. And just as with the detail page, this comes with a default template. In this case, I'll just remove everything within it. And instead, I'm gonna take our card component, go back to our collection list, paste it in there. Then I'll target the collection list, go to the right sidebar. I'll switch it to grid. I'll set the width to fill. Then I'll adjust the gap a bit, tweak the padding a bit. And there we have the beginning of a grid. Now the items are properly structured in the collection list. But if we play it, we can see that the content is still static. It's still using the placeholder images and videos and the text fields hasn't changed. To make this dynamic, like our detail page, we need to head into our card component. So I'll click my way out. I'll go to the card. In here, we can do a similar thing to what we did for the detail page. Just that here, since it's a component, we have a two-step process. First, we need to head to the top bar here and hit variables. Here we can create variables that we can then link to the CMS in the next step. So let's start by adding one for image, then I'll add one for a title, so a plain text, I'll call it title. Then I'll add an option for resource type called resource type. I'll do the same for software, I'll add another option. I'll call it software and I'll add Framer and Figma. And that's all we need for now. Now let's head to our icons here. So I'll go to the Figma icon. I'll hit plus visible set variable software equals. So whenever software equals Figma, we're going to show the Figma icon. Now reversely, if we go to the Framer icon, Go to plus visible, set variable, software equals. Whenever software equals framer, we're gonna show this icon. Then we're gonna go to the title here again. We're gonna go to plus content, set variable, title. And now the text disappeared. Why is that? Well, since it's not yet connected to the CMS and thus it doesn't get any text from anywhere. And since we in variables, didn't add a default text, we don't see anything. But if we add default here, you can see that now the default text is at least shown. Now let's select website here, go to plus content, set variable, resource type, and convert option. And there you can see that it once again disappeared. This is because once again, it's not yet connected to the CMS. So when Option one is set, we're gonna set this text to something. And instead of having option one here, we can go back to variables, go to resource type and name the options. So the first could be working file, just as in the CMS. And the second one could be website, also just like in the CMS. Now, if we head back out here, this is now working file. So I'll set this to be working file. So the text is going to be set to working file whenever we have chosen working file in the convert option. And from here, we can add another condition. So when it's set to website, we'll set it to be website. Now let's go to the video. And for the video, we just hit plus here. We create a variable and we'll call it video for the image. Let's target the image. Go down here, plus fill, set variable image. And then as a last step, I'll target the whole card. I'll go to link, hit plus, hit plus on link two, and create a variable. And this link is not going to go to a new tab and it's going to be instant because it's not going to be a scroll. Once again, it's going to go to the detail page. Now we can head back to home. We can go out here to the right sidebar. And now all of a sudden we have a bunch of options for our card here. This is because we added those variables. So now we can go to plus image here, set variable to be image. 
And what this does is that it connects the component variable to the CMS item field. So we'll connect image to image. We'll connect title to title. We'll connect resource to resource type convert option. And in here, we'll have to set working file to be working file. We'll add a condition that says website is to be set to website. We'll go to software, set variable to software type, convert option, framer to framer, and Figma to Figma. And for link, we're just gonna hit the field here and click on resources slug. This will make sure that it links us to the correct resource URL. Now, if we play this, we can see that everything seems to look perfect. We have the hover state where we show the video. We have the titles, we have the resource type and the software icon here. What if we have an item that doesn't have a video? Then perhaps we don't want to show the play icon. Now to fix this, we have to head back into our card and inside of our card, we have to go to variables. And if we go to video here, we can see that we always have a default video. In order for us to not always show videos, we can't always have a default video. So we'll go out here, I'll select the video, I'll unlink it, and then I'll remove the default video that we have here. Then I'll go back to the plus, hit create variable. I'll call this one video again and I'll just remove the previous video one. Now, if we go out here to home and we go back to video here, we have to relink it to our CMS video. And for this to be shown, we have to create another CMS item or just remove a video from one of the CMS items. So let's remove this one. We go back and we play. Now we can see that the video isn't showing anymore, but we can still see the play icon. Let's fix that too. So I'll head back into the card. Let's select the play icon, go to the right sidebar and hit plus visibility, create variable. We'll call this one play icon. Then we'll just jump back out to home. We'll go to the right sidebar here. We'll hit plus on play icon, set variable, video is set. So now whenever a video file is added in our CMS, AKA is set, the play icon is shown. Now, if we play it again, you can see that the play icon is gone and nothing happens on hover. On the flip side, for the video ones on hover, we show the video. Now, an issue that you might run into in cases like this, where you have conditional logic is that you miss things between hover states. So make sure that your image in this case here still has the image variable. When I was testing this, I realized that this wasn't set to the image variable, which then results in on hover that we see nothing. So once again, make sure that your image in this instance is set to image. And that's it. I hope the framer CMS feels less scary for you now. If you want to dig deeper into Framer, check out this playlist. Until the next one, have a great life.